Okay, hello everyone, welcome. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see the slide. We're gonna begin here shortly. Kathy, I'm gonna get started. I just texted you as well, Kathy, someone that needs some help with support, if you can call them back. Can everyone hear me? If you don't write in the room, I'm not gonna know if anyone hears me at all. <laughs> okay, welcome, very good. So today I'm gonna to talk about a strategy for beginners and advanced traders. The strategy that I trade is based on stocks gapping and you can use it if you are a beginner or an advanced trader. So if you've never traded in your life, that's okay. A lot of people are afraid to get involved and trade the market, especially an advanced concept like I do on gaps because they're worried that they have to have all this year's experience in order to trade, but that's not true. And in fact, sometimes people that come to me that have never traded in their life actually make out extremely well because they don't have any bad habits and they're not doing things that they should not be doing in the market, which many people do because as you know, if you've ever traded before, there are many methods and strategies and classes out there that really teach wrong actions in the market. And when people do those things, what is the result? The result of wrong actions is you will lose, okay? So the idea is you want to profit, you want to make money, okay? So it's just one of these things where you really have to watch what you're doing in the market if you wanna make money. And if you know how to trade, you can make money. And it's not that hard if you actually know what to do, all right? So for those of you that don't know me, this is me. My name is Melissa Armel. I appear in Fox Business and Fox News. And you can email me if you have questions or if you're interested in learning what I know at 929-3200-GAP. You can call me or email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. Um, I'd say definitely follow me on YouTube. I post a lot of videos on YouTube as well. And if you have questions as we go along here today, I'm gonna type in here, hi. Uh, you can just write the question and I will read the question out loud, okay? And then answer it. Okay, everybody ready? And Kathy, if you can help the people, you know, that I, I texted you about coming in the room, we'll just be a little late. So we're gonna talk today about trading. Are you trading right now? How many people here are trading right now? Right in the room, yes or no? Yes or no, are you trading currently? And not only that, do you know how to trade? Takes a, takes a very, very honest person to say, I'm trading now, but I don't have a clue what I'm doing because I'm losing. And I find a lot of people that are trading, that is the case, and they won't admit it, and they continue to risk money in the market. And although they make, may, may make money on some trades, overall, they're not consistent and they lose, and they can't admit that they don't know how to trade. If you know how to trade, you should be making money. I mean, that doesn't mean you'll never have a losing trade. It means week over week, month over month, year over year, you're up. Okay, TJ is trading, there we go. We got a yes from TJ, one person. <laughs> one person here is trading tonight, okay. Anyways, one of the things that I look at and one of the things that I think is really important is the open. So when does the US stock market open? 9.30 Eastern time. And in that first half an hour of the day, that first hour of the day, it's really an important time because what I'm looking at is when a stock gaps, and we're gonna go over this here in a chart here shortly, but that opening period tells you a lot. In fact, in the market today, in the SPY, it told me that the market was higher. And in fact, it is. Even though we ended up breaking the low at one point today in the SPY, the market is higher. And in fact, we're higher in the after hours tonight. Market is currently gapping up this evening. I don't know where we open tomorrow morning, but we probably will end up gapping up because we're up right now tonight, okay? So if you're a beginner, again, you can do this, and it's important for people to know that. And if you've been training for a while, it also, I think, is very important to be honest with yourself if you're not profitable. You can continue along in the path that you're on and losing overall or denying that you're losing, even if the results are not there for you, thinking that you know what you're doing or you could get on the right track, okay? I've had a lot of success with some really new people in the last six to nine months that have come on board towards the end of 2018. 
And, uh, and so it's really made me realize how you really don't have to ever have traded it all before ever. And you could come and learn how to do this from me. And, and, and I've, then I've also helped people that have to overcome a lot of emotional problems that they've had from losing to the market who've been trading for years and can't seem to quite overcome the fact that they have been losing. And then they struggle with trying to, to get to the point where they want to spend money for a class to learn my program or system because they've had so many losses from the market. And yet, that's the only way you're going to learn what I know. The only way you're going to learn what I know is doing my class. And you can watch every free video that I have on YouTube and you'll never learn what I know. Not only that, you won't get the calls. So trading is, is, is an investment. Craig just said that was him. That, that is you. That is you. In fact, I think I plopped in tonight the, the, uh, the one the testimonial from you at the end. I have to, I think I did. I think, I think I told Craig's story before. Craig was going to do the class last year, didn't, was going to sign up, didn't, lost half his account, finally, 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 just in this past month, decided to sign up for the options letter and he's had some really nice success. In fact, Craig, did you do the spy trade today that I called in the option? Did you do it? I called a nice spy trade today in the option and it looks great. Market's gapping up tonight. I hope you did it. Anyways, let's talk here a little bit more about the pros and cons of being a beginning versus experienced trader. So here I plop the market. Again, I did this after the, after the close today. This is 420. I plop the SPY. So we're up, up in the after hours tonight. The market closed in the SPY around 282.30 something, I think, or 282.20. And so we're up here, at least we were, you know, about 10 minutes ago, about 20 some cents after hours. Again, that's not a lot, but it's something, it's enough. So I called the 283 calls, actually the expire Friday. So it was a tight call because today's Monday in the, in the SPY. Really nice call here. It's gonna be up right away it's into the open tomorrow morning. So a lot of times what happens is when people are trading, they learn different things. For example, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over this. If you if you've never traded before, you may not know what I'm talking about. But if you have, this is for you. The market. I'm gonna go all the way back to October. Dropped, fell, pushed back, held the resistance. Dropped, pushed back, held the resistance. Dropped, pushed back, held the resistance. Fell off. This is the December sell up here. Fell off a planet. But we never broke the uptrend in the market. There were days in here, though, where you could have basically shorted the market as day trades. However, the market never broke the uptrend. Many, 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 many traders were short the market on this period. Here we pushed up to the resistance. Here we pushed up to the resistance. And now you see here where the market's breaking out higher through this area. And so what's going to occur is that shorts are going to get blown on through. I would never have shorted this market it would, would have been a bad idea. Even though there were some days in December where you could have theoretically done that and profited, the market has not been a short. The market has been a long. And so many people that ha are on the short side of this market feeling and, and, and insisting that it wasn't gonna move higher are gonna be hurt with this breakout in the market higher. Now, some people may have already gotten out with losses previous to this breakout, we're gonna see this, it looks like in the next day or two or a week. And yet some people are gonna probably not get out or be hurt with the market gaps up tomorrow morning. But it's, it's critical to look at everything that's happening in the chart, but specifically it's the gaps. It's really not this support and resistance levels like I showed you, but many people teach that. So now if you were a beginner, you may not know anything I just said, but if you would come and do my class, you would learn it and it would make sense to you immediately everything that I'd say when I would teach the points in the class of my rating system because you wouldn't have any preconceived notions. And the problem is if you've been trading for a while, you have preconceived notions and you will have to flush those down the toilet if you want to learn how to trade correctly and make money. Okay. So when you're looking to profit in the market, it is about looking at price action. That's what tells you what's going to happen. Now, while there are things that affect stocks and the market, like news, like earnings, like all kinds of things, one thing that we can all see that we can all agree on that we all know is the price. So we all can read a chart. Everyone can look at a chart of pretty much anything at all. And we all see the same information, but it's the interpretation of that information that is where the difference is. So what you would come and learn from me is how to interpret the information that you have on hand, which is in a day chart, 
in any stock that exists or trades in the U.S. market that gaps. And you would learn how to interpret that to predict the next move that the stock will make. That is what I teach. And I teach it in gaps. Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm just going to very basic here show you what a gap is. A gap is a difference between the close and the open. This is all the way back in December. The market closed here, gap down. So a gap is a difference between the close and the open. That means if the market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time and opens at a different price at 9.30, it's gapping. This is a gap down. Right now, tonight, we're gapping up because we closed, like I said, around, I think, 282.30, and we're gapping up to 282.56. So that's a gap up. Like if we, it would be 9.30 tomorrow morning, we'd be gapping up, and we probably will gap up tomorrow morning. Anyways, long story short, there are gap downs, there are gap ups. I focus preferably on gaps to the downside first, and the reason is because I do prefer to short. However, I've been calling longs in the market that have worked quite well in the last uh, couple of months because the market has had such a nice rally. And any questions so far, you can write in the room. I see some people signing in. Just write your question in the room and type it, and I will answer as we go along, okay? So the point I'm trying to make is whether you're experienced or not doesn't matter. What is important is for you to make money. How is that possible? How can you do it? You have to have a strategy that you will follow to consistently profit in the market. Buying support and shorting resistance, although people believe and feel that that is a strategy, actually it isn't. It isn't at all because there's a million supports and a million resistances in any given day chart or even one minute chart or two minute chart or five minute chart. So how do you know which one's going to hold? How do you know where to get in and where to get out? And by the way, if you're day trading, which is what we're talking about tonight, even though I mentioned the SPY option I called this morning, if you're day trading, it is very important to have a stop in. It is very important to have a good entry. It is very important to know where you're getting out. It is very important. Why? because you only have a certain amount of time. If you are taking a day trade, that means you must get in from 9.30 and you must get out before four. Your time is very limited. You only have six and a half hours. That's a long time the way I look at it because sometimes we're in trades for a couple of minutes. But if you look at it, if you're normally used to swing trading, that's not a long time. So you really need to know if you're day trading, you need to be precise. And if you don't have a set strategy to be following to tell you where to get in, where to put the stop, and where to get out with the targets, then you're going to be very lost because you don't have days and weeks and months in a day trade, okay? you got to be flat by 4 o'clock Eastern time. So ultimately, success for me, and I've, I've just made a whole entire career of this because I started trading in 2018, it's 2019, 11 years, is about consistency. I only do one thing. I only do gaps. Whether it's options or day trades, it's only gaps. It's the consistency. It's one strategy. It's my rating system. That's all that I do. It's the reason for my success. And reading gaps is a skill. Reading charts is a skill. So when you decide you want to learn this, if you decide you want to come and learn from me, you are learning the information that I know, and then you are going to apply it to your own trading and then you get better over time by continually, consistently, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, practicing the skill that I would teach you, okay? That's how I've gotten better over the years. That's how you can get better over the years. So it's not something that has to take a long time. And if I'm directing you in the live trading room, it really helps. I get up in the morning, I get my stock picks, I rank them, I look at the watch list, I put the room in the, one in the rooms that I like in the morning, and then I'm calling the trains. So you can follow along with me and do them and rate them as well. And when I call the trains, you can go back and look and say, well, why did she get in there? And then you go over it and you say, oh, there, I see that one. And that's how you get better. Again, it's practice, practice, practice. It's like people that are, that are um, it's, we're getting into the season, the tennis, the tennis season. Weather started to break here a little bit in New York. It's, it's almost April. I like to watch tennis. The French Open is in May. So tennis players, big tennis players, you know, they do well. Why? They've been playing tennis for years. They practice hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Okay. Roger Federer, for example, one of the greatest players of all time, practices hours and hours tennis for years. 
you want to get to a point where you're really, really, really excel at something, it takes practice over and over and over and not, not different things, the same thing, because that's how you get good. How do you make money in the market? How do you make a lot of money in the market? You have to be really good at one thing. So I'm really good at one strategy. And guess what? That's all you need. And that's the highest chances for your own personal success. Because if you want to be a jack of all trades, you're never going to make the most money that you possibly can in the market. It's not possible. You'll never really focus and get good at one thing. And there's too many things that you have to combat every day. If you're watching TV, if you're flipping the channel, if you're getting texts, if you're following apps, if you're on Twitter, if you're getting emails, there's so many things that traders are bombarded with, news, all kinds of crazy stuff. It can really set your tone off for the day. Like there was all kinds of news out today about BA falling, BA dropping, Facebook dropping. Guess what? The, and the market broke the low, but the market was never a short today. Never. And so if you want to do well, you have to just have the conviction and getting the conviction, how do you do it? You got to have the right knowledge, which is the class that you learn from me, and then practicing and applying the knowledge and practicing the skill. And that's how you get better. And I find that that's something that I also do that's very unique with the stock switches as my company is that I only do one thing. I only have one strategy. And many, many other places are teaching you this thing, that thing, this thing, Forex, futures, all kinds of things. And, and, and you just like are all over the place. Okay. Even the options trades that I call are based on just buying a put or buying a call at a set strike based on me reigning the gap. It's just you could take it out for a longer time frame if you do an option in a stock or the market versus a day trade. Because remember, a day trade, you have to be in and out between 9.30 and 4. Okay? But same strategy. Any questions about anything so far? I'm going to keep going. Anyways, making money in the market is 100% possible if you have a good strategy and money management. And I, I'll briefly just want to touch on money management. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this today. But for example, good money management would include what? If you do two trades and one trade you risk $500 and one trade you risk $2,000, well, that isn't good money management, okay? Okay. You can't risk far and wide varied risk amounts in all of your different trades because your results are not going to be consistent even, even if you're doing the same strategy. So even if you're like, well, I took the trade, I focused on it, yes, okay. But, the, but you have to have a similar risk. And this isn't exact. This isn't like you're not going to get graded. But the difference, as, as you can, anyone could see, between 500 and 2,000 is a lot. Because what? What if the trade that you took, that you risked 500 worked, and you made 100% return on investment in the trade and made $500? Fabulous, great trade. But what if the one that you took a $2,000 risk failed and you lost 2,000? You'd be upside down by $1,500, you'd be down. Even though your win ratio would be what? Your win ratio would be 50%. One good one, one bad one, theoretically, you shouldn't be down because if you risk 500 in one trade and made 500 and risk a second trade, risk 500 and it lost, you would be at what? You, you wouldn't be up, you'd be at zero, but you wouldn't be down. There's a big difference between uh, being flat, flat, no profits, no losses versus a $1,500 loss. You, you know where I'm coming from. Greg, Craig says spot on, yes. So it is important to have a similar risk now when you're getting up in the more advanced risks okay the difference between 1900 and 2100 i'm not so worried about that it's more important actually if you're a beginner trader because if you want to risk a hundred dollars and you end up risking 500 that's going to mess up your account if you have a small account of like two thousand dollars follow me and also it's 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 about getting the trade so say you have a small account. You're like, oh gosh, these trades, I got to get it. I have to figure out the sizing in my head. Take 100 shares. 100 shares isn't going to kill anyone. And then realize maybe you can take 200 more, depending on what the stop is. Add 200 shares into the trade if you can take it based on the size of the stop and follow the trade on through. What I don't want people to do is take 1,000 shares and then take way too much 
and then have to kill it, okay? So if you're a beginner, start small, small risk, small size. If you are an advanced trader, you can take bigger size, that's fine, but you still have to watch the amount of your risk because it has to be close to or near what your normal risk is. It can't be double, triple, quadruple. And as, 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 as crazy as it sounds, actually, this is something that people need to practice on because many people are not used to it. What I've found that people that have been trading and around for a while tend to do is take a set lot. They take 2,000 shares, 2,000 shares, 2,000 shares. You can't trade like that. You cannot. Because sometimes I take a trade, it's 50 cents stop. Sometimes I take a trade, it's a dollar cent stop. Sometimes we take a trade, it's a dollar 50 stop. You cannot use the same quantity. So in your little jiggy, in your monitor, in your platform, you need to have an amount that's small enough that you either could hit it once, or maybe if it's a good stop, you'd hit it a couple times. So consistency means in strategy and money management, which means your risk needs to be similar. All right, and that's all I'm gonna say about that today. But if anybody has any other questions, you can feel free to ask me that. But that is a very, very basic thing that I've found that traders that have been out there trading for years do not follow and it really screws you up because if, if, if you know it's, it's always the case that the one trade that you oversize yourself in blows up in your face and doesn't work it's just the way the way that it is the market forces you to be responsible okay any questions i see kathy i don't know if you helped the people get in the room or not that were calling me hopefully you did okay so day trading can you do this for a job? Yes. If you have a job right now and you're happy with what you do for a career, you can trade on the side for extra money. I focus on the time period starting into the open around 9.30 and the trading room opens at 8.30 Eastern time. You gotta be available in the morning if you're gonna do this. Unless you wanna do the options trading, so you don't have to be in the room at a set period. The options trades are call anytime throughout the day. But if you wanna day trade, you have to be at your desk at least between nine and 10, okay? Half an hour, hour so far. Now, if you wanna do this for a career, again, and you're, you don't have any experience or you never did the class before, obviously, if you're here and you didn't, then I would say give yourself a period of time where you're trading at least two, three days a week in the room until you're making the money that you know that it can supplement and replace your full-time job. And people say, well, how long does it take? It takes as long as it's gonna take. Some people pick things up really quickly. Some people, it takes a couple of weeks, a couple of months. It all depends on how quickly you pick it up. I do think though I'm a good teacher and I try to explain things well, but if you have questions, you can always call or email me. And I think joining the live trading room after my class is important, okay? Because it helps solidify the information that you learn in the class. Now the trading room is something that is open only to Golden Gap course students. So if you do the class, classes this weekend, then you can join the room after that. And again, you're getting the live trade calls in the room. But I say to people, ease yourself into it because the most important thing is learning it. And once you learn it, you can always add size later. You need to instill a confidence in yourself. Again, whether you're, whether you're new or even doing this for a while that you've been trading but not had success, it's all about the confidence. Confidence really helps you. And where does it come from? Green, making money. And it almost doesn't even matter how much you make. It's the consistency of the green. You take one trade, it works. You take another trade, it works. You take another trade, it works. When you're, when you're in a funk and you're losing in the market and you've been doing this for a while and you've been losing, like I'm talking year over year, not necessarily every day, but like just not seeing like you're getting anywhere with your trading career or just the dream of wanting to do it. It just seems to be going flat for you or failing. The best thing you can do is show and prove to yourself that you could have a level of consistency that you can put it together to do it well that really will help you. And so it's not even about how much you make at that point. It's about instilling the confidence in you, which helps you then take a bigger risk later down the road, okay? Even if you have the size of account to do what I'm saying. So if you're thinking about doing this, what do you need? You need to have the time, like I said, between 9.30 and 10. That is a very critical time to be watching the stocks that I'm watching. And sometimes word trades very quickly. If you're not used to taking fast trains where you get in and out in 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, that'll be something you'll have to practice doing. I use hotkeys, all right? You can set them up with a broker. If you like working from home, you can trade anywhere in the world and you can live in any country in the world. You need a platform, you need a trading account, you need charts. You can go to any broker you want to do this, 
All right, we'll talk about brokers more later. And also, there's unlimited income potential in the market because obviously the only thing that stands in your way of, of risk, of, risk of, of making any amount of money is your risk. So for example, if you take a trade and you want, and, and the trade is 100% return where you risk a dollar, trade moves a dollar, if you risk $5,000, you could have made $5,000. Now you would have had to be able to risk $5,000. So the only thing standing your way at all of the profit about the amount is your risk. But you have to learn how to do it first, all right? Any questions so far? The one thing I want you to take away from today of all the things that I'm trying to give you, you know, basically free advice on here about trading and, and learning is it's very important to have a focus. And it, it sounds easy, like, oh, sure, yeah, I do that, I focus. But I'm telling you, you may not even be aware of the way that you're getting off focus. You may not, you may not even be aware of how something occurs in your environment, in your life, or an email you get, or some, or some trading room you're in, or whatever, that takes your focus off. I mean, you, you really have to be like a laser, and I am like that. So that's one of the reasons why I say, listen, you can be perfect. 30 minutes a day. You can be perfect for 60 minutes a day. I think it's a little bit harder to be perfect for six and a half hours a day, but it's rare that I ever trade all day. I try not to. I focus in the morning, but you can be perfect for an hour a day. You can close your door to your office, just turn your phone off, don't look at your emails, blank yourself out from the world. It's the best thing you could do for yourself because you will trade better this way and you won't you won't miss things like in the chart, okay? So one strategy is really all you need to be successful in the market. And, and I believe for me, it's my own golden gap strategy. But I do believe that getting really good at something is very, very critical for making, uh, making it as a trader where you'd actually do it as a career, okay? Some people make money in the market, but they don't really make enough to support themselves. I think you gotta be good. You gotta really have a good skill set if you want to make a couple hundred grand a year, which, which most people would look at as an income. But you do not need a general overall broad base view to make money. I, and I stress this, and that's why you don't have to have any experience to come and learn from me. Tons of people have that, tons. I talk to people on the phone all the time, they talk my ear off about what they know. It doesn't mean squat poo, okay? If you're not making money, it's worthless what you know. What counts is making money. That's the only thing that I've been focused on. It's one of the reasons that I've become successful too. I'm very, very focused on making money. So you gotta learn how to read institutional money and price patterns in gaps. If you wanna learn my method from me, that's what you're gonna learn. It's institutional money. It's not necessarily what day traders are doing. It's buying and selling on the side of institutions like hedge funds, like big banks. And if you learn how to do that, which you learn in my Golden Gap course, you don't have to do anything else. But what do I do? I read price. I read price action and gaps. I see the movements ahead of time and charts the gap, and it's called price forecasting. And I did, I don't know if any of you are subscribed to my YouTube. If you are, if you're not, you can go subscribe. Um, my assistant did a reel of some clips from the market call that I made towards the end of 2018 into this year. I actually called the market rally from the New Year's Eve rally up. So that was something which was an example, which I talked about it on television, which was price forecasting. But you can do this yourself. You can do this yourself. When If you take my class, you can rate the gap and you will be forecasting where the next action is that the stock will go. And this is very, very important because guess what? If you get in before the momentum happens, before the volatility occurs, that's where all the money is. That's where all the money is in, in what you're doing, okay? Any questions so far? Now, what is forecasting? Forecasting is the use of historic data to determine the direction of future trends. Businesses use, utilize forecasting to determine how to allocate their budgets. So pretend like you have a business, okay? You, if you had your own business, you had to have all these expenses. You have to know what money is coming in or projected, okay? so that you can pay your bills on time, pay your employees. So you're forecasting the profits and what you're gonna make, and maybe that's how you price what you're selling. Say if you own a store or something, you have a product. It's, it's no different really than if you're working for yourself and you're training. 
The price forecasting is, okay, I'm rating this gap and I'm determining that the move is going to come in and it's going to move higher, for example. Stock's going to get bought. Well, if I get in here and the target's here, how much will I make? And that's how you figure it out. And I teach targets in the class too. Okay. Kathy is saying it's a pleasure to work with traders the nicest people in the world. Really? Wow, that's a compliment. I never heard that one before, Kathy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm reading institutional footprints in the stocks. Now, I plop this in here. I'm not going to go through every one. I did a video, which I'm going to upload after the class here tonight, of all of these. This is all the moves and all the trades called in the trading room since the beginning of the year. This is in the live trading room. This is not the options trades. Almost 73 grand. This is all the trades. And you can see here, the days that were harder kind of was a lot of trades. The days that were solid and good as bricks, like even Twitter. One trade and done. And in an ideal world, that's what I do in most trades. And if you'd like a trading room trial to the room, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com while I'm going through this. If you want to trial the room Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. Okay. Anyways, today there was three trades and we're going to go over them here next. Now, how do I determine what I'm doing? I rate the gap. I have a rating system. I use a 26 point rating checklist. This is the meat and potatoes behind what I do. And you would learn it in my class this weekend. All right. It's the, it's the, it's the system. Okay. The system tells me Facebook, for example, today was a short, all right? Again, people ask me, how long does it learn? Say, do the class this weekend. How long is it going to take you to make money? Well, if you join the trading room and sign up right away after the class as of Monday, you can start to make money right away if we trade next Monday, which would be the 25th. It doesn't have to take you a long time at all. Now, it's all new information. Whether you've been trading for a lot or not, no one knows my strategy except for me until you do the class. Like I said, you're not going to learn anything that I know from the free videos, how to do it ahead of time. And that's really what you want to know how to do. So they say it takes, you retain 80% of the information after you do a class, sometimes more, but you can always come back and ask me questions, but it's always, always an eye opener for people who do my class, but you can start to make money immediately right out of the gate. It's about learning it and doing it and applying it. And that's how you make it. Again, think of the tennis players. Think of the idea of the practice. Okay. Anyways, I trade for only a short time each day. And what am I looking at in the 26 points? I rate the gap based on the daily chart. I focus on shorts first. If I don't see any good shorts, then I will focus on longs. That's a personal preference. It doesn't have anything to do with the system. I just personally like to short. And the reason I like to short first is because Stocks that sell off tend to have faster moves than stocks that rally. That's just a fact because if people are panicking, they will sell faster than they will go long. Not that you can't get quick long moves. You can. Okay, you can. Alta was a beautiful move and a rally on Friday that you could have done as a day trade or an option trade, and it was a fast move, and it was a bullish move. Okay? I don't have that chart in here, but that was another nice call. Anyways... You will learn in my class how to measure gaps by rating them in the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Trading is about probabilities, okay? Very similar, you want to do high odds. People say, well, 26 points is a lot of things, Melissa. Yes, yes it is. But if I could come up with 126 points, I'd never get it wrong. I haven't yet. I have 26. But it's really about looking at it and saying, okay, high odds. What's, what's, I want to put the odds in my favor, high odds. You know what I'm saying? Like right now I'm looking outside. It's beautiful. The sun is shining. It's 504. High odds. It's not going to snow tonight in New York City. In fact, let's look at the exact temperature just to say in order for it to snow, it'd have to be low thirties. What's the temperature right now? Again, I look at the information, it's 44, 44 in New York City. Low odds, we get snow tonight before midnight. High odds, we don't get snow. So you look at the odds. I'm also looking to see if something has a big move in the day. I like confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-reward target potential. 
Greg's mentioning Alta. Greg, I want to do a Skype with you on Alta. I don't know if you have your Skype set up or not. If we have time, we can talk tonight, but I do want to do a Skype with you on that trade. Craig did Alta. He got out a little bit too early. So how much you make, though, is a function of how much you risk. And that really is true. What I'm typically looking for is one turn around. So if you're risking 300, your goal should be to make 300. If you're risking 500, your goal should be to make 500. If you're risking a dollar, you're trying to make a dollar. Okay, that just, that just helps you. And it's not that you won't hold trades for longer if they have bigger targets, but that's pretty much your goal. And again, if you're trying to stay consistent, that's pretty much your goal, all right? But the share quantity will vary because it is the dollar and cents that has to be consistent, as I talked about earlier. Now let's talk about Facebook. Facebook was a gap down today that rated in 20 points. Now, I have a 26-point rating system. This is what you learn in the class. You rate the gap. If the gap rates 20 points or more, you take it in the direction of the gap. That's it. If it doesn't, you don't. That's the rule. That's the system. A system means you follow it. It doesn't mean you change your mind. It doesn't mean you make it up as you go along. It means you follow it. And that means if you get a gap that rates 15 points, guess what? You're not doing it. What if you get up in the morning? What if I get up tomorrow? And, and some of you want to come to the trial? What if I get up in the morning and tomorrow there isn't anything that rates 20 points or more? Guess what? Then we're not doing any trades. And some of those days in there where you looked at the stats from this year, there were no trades because there weren't any gaps that rated 20 points or more. Not that there aren't any gaps, but that there's no gaps that rate 20 points or more. you got to follow. Follow, follow, follow. That's part of, again, being strict with what you're doing. Now let's look at the chart. So this is a daily chart here of Facebook. Beautiful, beautiful chart. I would say one thing though about this, which is interesting, and I did a video and put it on YouTube. This was the earnings here, and I'm going all the way back end of January. Seems like a long time ago, but if you look at the chart here, this is the earnings of Facebook. Stock had a big move up, but guess what? I didn't call any trades in this. It failed, failed to go higher, no follow through. Fell here today, fell Friday too. This is like, looks like dead. Now, this was a good gap today. We didn't do it out of the gate. I didn't even see it until someone mentioned the rim. It was a late play, but the stock closed here, gap down, open, boom. But it rated 20 points. And you can do gaps, and you can do setups later in the day. I did go after some afternoon setups in the, in, the, in the class. Anyways, here was the entry in Facebook today. This is an advanced risk, and we will go over beginner risk in a moment. Entry, 161.40. Stop, 162.10. This is a short. On 3,000 shares, which is $2,100 risk, exit 159.85, guess what? Target was 160, and I starred that. I starred that in the email. Means, like, the high odds it's going to get to 160. Drop broke, actually almost went to 159, but it fell through 160, boom, out. Profit, $4,650, risk to reward 2.2. That's good. Why? Your, your, your goal is one. So if you get a double here, that's good. In the case of this, it just opened and fell. Poop and went like that. So it was very easy to get a, a, an excellent risk to reward in this because there was, the stock just dropped. It just fell, okay? Now, again, here is the sell-off. And what about if you were a beginner? 300 shares, you would have made $465. That is a really good profit. $400 a day times five is what? Two grand a week. Two grand a week. And two grand a week is what? $8,000 a month. $8,000 a month times 12 is what? That's not nothing. Some people don't even make that in their normal jobs. And, 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 I, and again, I know everyone wants to make this kind of money here. Let me go back. I know, uh, trust me, I know it's great. It's great when you can say, wow, I just made, you know, $4,000 in a couple hours today. But the reality is, if you can get to the point where you are consistently making eight grand a month, that's almost, almost a hundred grand a year. A give and take holidays when the market's closed, it's $96,000 a year. And that, that's real money. Some people don't make that at their jobs. So you don't have to be at this level. Now, if you're trading a long time like me or you're really good at it, you do the class and you're doing amazing, go for it. Got the money to take the size, do it. 
but it's not even necessary is my point. You could be a beginner and take 300 shares and have this kind of profit and make several thousand dollars a month and support yourself if, if, if you can support yourself at 96 grand a year. But this is far, far above and beyond what many, many people are doing, are making that are trading the market because most people are losing. And even though most people think you have to risk a lot to make a lot, that is simply not true. Okay? Any questions here about any of this or about Facebook's trade? And again, if we have time, I'll, I'll go over the Alta with you, Craig. Did you set up Skype, Craig, or not? I didn't understand what you wrote there. And any questions from anyone else at all here? Um, okay, now I wanted to go over OSTK. OSTK was a loss today. So three trades today, this trade didn't work. Didn't end up taking the stop in this because it didn't have the follow through. This trade was up at one point. Actually at two, two different points it was up, but it never had the follow through. Entry in this was 1835. Stop 19, shares 3,000, risk 1950, exit 1860 when it didn't want to get over a certain area, and I'll go over that in a minute on the chart. The profit really wasn't any, it was a loss. That's what the parentheses mean, it was a $600 loss, risk to reward zero. Now here is what this did. This is a 15 minute chart of OSTK. If you played this aggressively this morning though, you made money, we didn't, we didn't do that. But then I watched it for a second setup in here, which looked good, it looked great. But then it was failing to drop, failing to drop, failing to follow through, and I ended up just killing it, killing it with a loss. And here's what it did in the day. This was kind of a bust. I didn't look at how this closed. My guess is it closed neutral. This had a sell-off in the morning, but just didn't have a second setup. We usually do do the most aggressive setups out of the day, but I didn't watch this out of the gate. It really wasn't my top watch today but it was something that we had on the list and something that I rated. And you could have done it immediately. It did not work. So I'm showing you just today's trades we're reviewing. Then the next trade was the SPY, was long. Got stopped in this and guess what, set up again. I did not go back into this though. Why? Because Facebook worked. But the, but the way that I looked at the market today as a long was correct. So my 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 prediction for the market to be higher today was spot on the day trade here today though stopped i did not do a retake if i had i would have had more profit today not just facebook but the market i did not do a second trade in the market if i had i would have had two trades in the market today one loss and one one winner i didn't do two but you could have retaken the market today because the first trade stopped and the second trade set up and worked if you did it but I want to show you here the entry in this that stopped. 28240, this was a long. Stop 28180, shares 3000, risk 1800. Exit was a stop. Loss, no risk to reward. Here is the market and what it did. This is a 15 minute again. Open rally, looked great in here. Dropped, broke, stopped. Again, you could have taken a reset up in here and it rallied and went. And again, I said we're up tonight. But long and short of it is that my read on this, the way that I predicted the gap this morning was correct because the market really was a long. And if you had only done the SPY and not done anything in STK and not done anything in Facebook and taken the SPY twice today, you would have had a nice day because the market had a nice rally in the afternoon. It just didn't have the follow through in the morning. But what happened with the results today? Let's go back. So a loss in this, a loss in this, and a profit in this, guess what? It's a profitable day. So three trades, two were losers and one was a winner and you're still up. Now th today was a very active day for me, but I wanted to go over all the trades and just show you. They were all gaps, okay? Any questions so far? I did not call an option in Facebook. Uh, I did not. I could at some point, but I did not. All right, so these are all day trades here today. But how did I know, how did I do any of these things based on my checklist? Every gap was rated. Every gap is rated. I don't do anything unless I rate it. It has to rate 20 points or more. And not only that, it has to set up, okay? I'm not trading in the post market and I'm not trading in the pre-market either. Any questions? Any questions so far? So what did we learn so far tonight? Focus, get really good at one strategy. Follow one system, keep your risk per trade on every trade that you take, same or equal, okay? Use stops, 
It's about consistency and it's about getting really good at one thing. So why do people find tr day trading so hard? I talked to another gentleman. In fact, I'm not sure if he's here. Mike, are you here tonight? I can't tell because not everybody's using their, their correct names. I don't know if Mike's here. He's been fine for me for a while. He called me Friday. Similar story to Craig's. Hasn't joined yet. He's struggling. He's losing. And he's nervous about doing anything else. You know, it's, it, 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 it is really about the conviction for me. But if you don't understand what that feels like, it's something like inside of you. And you won't know what that is until you really learn a system that you can get behind that you can have conviction in. You gotta get behind it. And, and it's hard for anyone to get behind anything if they're not making money. But you can't make the money unless you learn what I know. So it's kind of a catch-22. You have to jump into it and take the chance. And I think, I think that the problem is that many people are trading and then they start to lose and they think, well, nothing works. But that's not true. Just because you've traded for years and taken classes and you haven't made money, it doesn't mean that nothing works in the market. But I will say this, not everything works and only selective things works. In, in other words, more things don't work than do. More classes you will not gain the knowledge from in order to make money in the market than you will. So that's really where the odds are. And you got to accept it and you have to know that. And so you have to take a chance. If you want to come and learn what I know, you will pay the money before you learn from me. That's what it is. It's about risk. It's the same way when you take a trade. You don't know if alt is going to work, but you take the trade. And if you did, it was a huge trade. The bottom line is more people are teaching things out there that don't work than do. But if it was the opposite, then guess what? Then everyone would be making millions of dollars in the market, but would they? No, they wouldn't because there would be less of a piece of a pie of the puzzle for you. If, it, if, if the way that it's set up is that the people that are successful have all the opportunity in the world to make tons of money, but that's good. That's what makes it so inviting. That's what makes it so interesting. That's what makes it so appealing. That's one of the reasons why I, I wanted to do it in the first place back in 2008. I had a job that I didn't like, I was doing mortgages. It was very stressful. The industry was changing. And I wanted to replace the similar income that I had doing mortgages for 17 years. And that meant finding a job where I had an unlimited amount of potential of money that I could make. That exists in the market. But if everything that everybody taught worked, then it wouldn't be the same way. You'd be capped at a set amount. And people wouldn't have big gains. People wouldn't have big, big chances to win. It really is like that Wall Street movie where it's a zero-sum game and you have the cream of the crop at the top and all the losers at the bottom. And all the people that are the losers, that pile of people is big. And I'm sorry to say it, but it is what it is. So you have to think outside of the box and you have to think in a unique way. I've done that. I've done that and I've made an entire career out of it and I've trained people to become successful with me. But if you look at where I'm at with the business and the stock swoosh and the amount of people I've trained, you say, well, a lot of people still are doing things that are totally incorrect that are out there teaching because it's just the way they've always done them. And sometimes it's very hard for people to get outside of that box. And you won't know it until you come and learn from me. So I encourage people to think about the reality of the situation of the market and what you're getting yourself into. You can't have it both ways. It can't be something that you learn for free and make all the money in the world. That's totally unrealistic. And it's just crazy, quite frankly. And when people are out there saying that you can open up an account with $500 and make a hundred grand in 90 days, they're nuts. It's, you know, that's ridiculous. You have to look at it as a reality situation. It's not that you can't do it. It's not that you can't make a couple hundred grand a year. Yes, you can, but you have to learn it first and you have to be led to the right people. So I always say the people that are led to me were meant to find me. And that's pretty much the way it is. Okay. Any questions so far? I'm seeing some people sign in late here. Um, some of you that signed in late, I did tape the webinar, but if you do have questions, you can you can email me um, at melissa at the I don't know if people were having trouble getting in. I'm just seeing a bunch of people that are that were signing in late. Uh, any questions so far for anybody that's here? or that's been here. Anyways, 
If you think about your financial goals for 2019, it's hard to believe, my goodness, it's, it's March 18th. Are you on track to create and have the year you want financially or with your trading so far this year? Are you on the right track? If you're not, it's not too late in the year, obviously, but it is almost three months into the year. It is almost three months into the year. And so, you know, I wouldn't wait to the summer. It's just a matter of time before you'll look back and say, gosh, I should have done this and I should have done that and I should have done this. And Craig, I'm glad you're one of those people that didn't wait too late in the year. So, I mean, if you are not on track with your trading or if you're not trading at all and you have a job and you're not on track to meet your financial goals for this year, it's not too late. Don't wait until it is too late where you feel like you're behind the eight ball and you're running after it. You need to get on the right path to do what you need to do for this year and set your goals. And I really think the best way for people to set goals with trading is weekly, monthly, yearly. There are some days where I take a trade and lose and I can't come back. And that day overall is a loss. But the week overall is a win. And there's some times where you can't control it and the day ends up being a loss. But that doesn't mean you don't make money on the month. You have to look at it by chunking it out. Chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, okay? It's the best way for you to handle the fact that some trades won't work. What One thing I find that people, people will have a losing day and then they will completely fall off the deep end on the day, just ruin their whole week by falling off the deep end in one day or they'll have a losing day one day and then the next day they'll fall off the deep end and lose because they're trying to play catch up. And I, and I find this just, and again, from talking to the gentleman on Friday, just reminding me of it, people are, are feeling, people feel like that about years of trading. Like people will, people will, will carry that, carry the losses that they've had in the market forever. It's like they will remember losing trades. They will, like, I lost this much on this one. I lost this much on this one. And, and they always want to make it up. Oh, lickety split. That's not realistic either, people. Getting on the right path, that's realistic. That you can do. And once you do, you just will carry through in a positive direction. And then it won't even matter the losses that you had in the past because you're moving forward with gains and wins and you're going up instead of going backwards, where many people are. But so many people are so caught up and well, I have to make this much to make up. I lost this much less. I have to make up. I have to lose other oh, losses. Oh, it just you're, you're if you if you're chasing your tail, it's it's like a bad cycle. And not only that, it's horrible for your focus because you're not focused on what living in the moment. If you're focused on the past, you're not focused on the here and now. So how the heck are you going to be able to focus on the trade? How are you going to be able to focus on doing the right thing in the trade that you're in today or tomorrow if you're worried about or chasing losses that you had last week or last month or in 2018? It's insanity. You've got to move forward and you got to let the past go. There's nothing you can do about losses that you've had in classes or trades in the past. You will never, that money is gone. Just kiss it goodbye and flush it down the toilet. But you can make money going forward if you learn a system like mine like the golden gap course and follow me and start to move forward like this guy here where you're going up and you're moving forward and however long it takes you it takes you but you know you're moving forward which allows you to get up every morning and feel good about yourself and feel positive about yourself and feel like you're doing something to help yourself instead of doing something to hurt yourself you're doing something to hurt yourself and you're thinking about the past all the time and you can't let it go you're really working against yourself and if you're working against yourself, man, you're in a bad, bad place. Because if you're working against yourself, trust me, a lot of people in the market are against you too. So then you got everyone against you, no one on your side. Well, how the heck do you think you're going to be successful then? Uh, Craig is asking about Facebook. Facebook did set up early. We just didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't do it early. It set up late and early. It did set up early. I just didn't see it. I, I, I missed the first trade out of the gate. That's all. Any other questions? Anyways, day trading is not, that was good advice there that I just gave on. I hope everyone's listening. Day trading is not investing. It's producing income. You could do options for producing income or you could do options for investing if you want, okay? 
But you're taking money out of the market daily in fast moves for the most part with day trades. Even Facebook today was a late trade, but a fast move. And one of the things that most day traders forget or don't, don't get is that it is an investing. And so you got to get used to taking it, getting out, getting the money move, take it, get out, take it, get out, take it, get out. It's really not even necessarily about holding every trade to the target. It's really not necessarily even about holding the trade to the biggest, biggest thing in the world. It's about just getting in, out, in, out, in, out. And it's almost like a routine. It's like a rhythm and you got to practice it. So I, I put this here again, chunking it out is very important, but if your goal is to make approximately 20 grand a month, how do you do it? You're looking to make approximately $1,000 a day. But my example earlier about $400 a day was appropriate because many, many people, for many people, that's possible. So whether it's advanced or beginner risk, it is possible with both. If you have questions about a margin account, a margin account is required for day trades. It's not required for options trades. But if you want to do the day trades, you need a margin account. You can have a retail account or you can have a prop account. A retail account requires 25000 cash and you would get a 4 to 1 margin. A prop account requires a minimum of 2500 cash and you would get a 10 to 1 margin at most places. There are tons of retail places and tons of prop places out there. But what I think it's important for people to know, wherever you go and wherever you want to trade, is that you can trade with a smaller or less amount than $25,000. There are something called proprietary day trading accounts. You can Google online and read about them. Many people believe or think that they, can, they can't trade unless they have $25,000. That's not true. Proprietary day trading accounts are all over the place. I do think you have to vet the places you go to or get a referral. But the fact is there are lots of people trading the market that do not have $25,000 cash. Okay? So just so you know of what your choices are, to be aware of them. If you want a referral, email me. You have to have charts and you gotta be able to short. Very, very important, okay? We did talk about this earlier, but the share quantity, it varies. But usually the stocks that we're trading could be around five, six bucks, $10, up to even over 100. I'm not opposed to doing something very expensive, like Netflix, but it's rare that we would do something at that price point, like over $300. Any questions so far? Again, going back to living in the past, my class is six grand. It's $59.99. Now, that's not nothing. It's a decent amount of money, but the information that I teach is worth it and it's good. But you have to think of it as an investment. It's an investment in yourself. It's not necessarily about making the money back in one trade, although I have had people do that. I have. So it is, but it's really about you learning information that you can use, a skill set that you can use for the rest of your life. It doesn't mean you have to trade with me for the rest of your life. You may take the class and join the room for a month and then want to trade by yourself. Or you may take the class and join for a year. I think a year is a good amount of time to be in the room once you're new and then go off on your own. But you can, you'll learn what I know in the class and you can do it on your own for the rest of your life. So think about it. If you have questions, you can ask me now. If this is for you, I don't know, but I gave you a lot of food for thought here tonight. And uh, I think trading is something when you're, once you're bit by the trading bug, you're, you're kind of pretty much bit. And it's something that you're gonna strive to, to figure out to do. I will say that very few people can ever figure out how to trade successfully alone without learning from a, a mentor or a person that knows how to trade, which I do. Very few people can do it. It was a time in my life when I taught myself how to trade. It took about three years and a lot of money. I would never want to repeat that period of my life. You have to have a lot of money to create your own system and go through it and teach yourself. And you also have to be an extremely strong-willed person, which I happen to be. I don't know anyone else besides me that's ever done it. So I would say you're better off learning from someone that really knows how to trade than ever attempting to figure it out yourself because it's a long haul and, um, and it will be very expensive for you. It is cheaper in the end to pay someone what they know to learn from them. But you do have to, you know, you do have to go through this process where you accept that you may have taken classes in the past where you didn't learn how to make money and you didn't learn how to trade, but it doesn't mean that every class out there doesn't work. Because like I said, more don't than do. So if anything that I said resonates with you, or if you want to call and talk to me, you're welcome to call me and talk to me. Some of you have been following me, I know, for a while. 
Craig is a good example of that person. Craig needed to go through his process. He needed to lose. He needed to feel an extreme amount of pain by blowing up his account before he finally signed up. And, and if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. I mean, everybody has their own journey. And, you know, I can talk with all the rationale in the world and explain it to people because I've been through it. But, you know, you won't, you won't be ready till you're ready is all I can say. But the sooner that you wait, the more that you're putting off your future. And it's early enough in the year that you can still really have a very good year trading. Anyways, there's challenges and benefits to trading. Obviously, the benefit is the money. And more than that, working for yourself. It'd be hard for me to ever imagine working for anyone else ever again. So, I mean, it's it's really, once you start to work for yourself and rely on yourself, it's very inconvenient. The independence is great. I do get up early in the morning, but I don't really have to. Room doesn't open till 8.30. And I like that I can control my day. And some, day, some days we're done by 10 o'clock, 10, 15. So it's the idea of having the financial freedom. You can take off when you want. You never have to work any weekends. When I worked my mortgage job, I worked so many hours, it was ridiculous. And I like working from home. So my class is called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. That's what you learn in the class. This checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias and a stop. That's what you'd learn in the class. That's all of day one. And day two, you learn the entries, the targets, and a play we do in the market called the stock swoosh. So the Golden Gap course from March is this weekend, March 23rd and 24th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to register. Deadline is Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern Time to sign up. And if you want to sign up for the trends too, you save $500. That is for long-term trades, for swing trades or options. It's $64.99 for both classes. You save $500. So let me just see if I have any questions here. Great class an hour, very well spent, thank you. Any specific questions from anyone? While we have, while I have everybody here, let me just pull up the market and see where we're at because I knew we were up. I just want to see how, where we are right now, one sec. Yeah, we're still, we're still up. Look at that. So really quickly here, does everyone see the market closed at 282.39, and this is tonight, 5.32. The market's at, and this is a SPY. I call it the market, but it's a, the S&P ETF. 282.61. So the market is up. So the market's gapping up, you know. Again, I don't know where we're going to be at 9.30, but right now the market's gapping up. Nice move. Craig, you did do the SPY trade? Did you or didn't you? For those of you in the option letter, I hope you did the trade today. I hope you didn't kill it when the market fell and broke the low because I called it in the morning. I hope you stay with the trade. Craig did do it and you stayed with it. Very good. Again, knowledge helps you have the conviction because sometimes you, you might take a trade and it might be down before it goes on to work, but it doesn't mean you kill it. You got to give the trade a chance to work. And again, the gap rating, that's the meat and potatoes that tells you that it's good. I have a feeling this is going to end up being a big trade. We'll have to see tomorrow. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Good group tonight. If you're interested in a trial for the trading room, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week, email me at melissathesockswish.com. If you're interested in signing up for the class, you must email me for the forms. They are not on the website email me to sign up go and subscribe to my youtube channel i put a lot of videos there i did tape the webinar tonight if you signed in late any questions from anyone else okay thanks so much kathy i hope everyone has a wonderful day tomorrow very good okay